Hi everyone, this is Gardening Girl 1107. I just want to do a quick um, garden update. We've had many weeks of very hot weather and it's been humid too, so it's kind of taken its toll on my garden. But these Thai peppers are doing really well. They seem to like lots of heat and lots of humidity. Okay, so the strawberries are even starting to develop more berries. And the plant's doing really well. Last week it looked really sick and I just gave it a little more fertilizer and it seemed to help. My tomatoes are doing pretty good. They're starting to ripen. I planted some more beans in this spot and they've been having a little bit of trouble getting started. This one's doing well, this one not so good. And then the ones that have really grown, that started all the leaves have died. And I'm thinking that there must be some kind of nutrient that it's lacking. So I'm going to try to give it some, I don't know, more fertilizer. 420 Homestead, thank you. He told me to try to give them some phosphorus. They might be lacking in that. So he advised me to feed them some chicken manure. So I'll make a tea out of that and give it a try. Okay, the parsley seems to be thriving. I've trimmed it back several times. I de dehydrated a bunch of it. And it's doing really well. The one benefit of the heat and humidity is that my plumeria bush has now decided to bloom. And these are wonderful, sweet blossoms from the plumeria. They're very pretty. This plant hardly ever blooms, so that's one bonus of the humidity. The garlic is still growing. It's starting to bulb in, in some places. So I don't know how long garlic usually takes, but it's been a really long time, probably 100 and I don't know, 40 days. So I'll just keep keep my eye on it. There's zucchini that aren't doing too well. They had a bad case of mildew and I trimmed them way back and it's got mildew again. And this has this plant hasn't produced any zucchini in probably two weeks. Same with this one, I had to trim it. It looks like it's now starting to get some flowers so it might make a few more zucchini before I just pull the plants completely. Okay, this space is completely opened up. This is where the onions were. And I'm just trying to decide what to plant here. I'm going to dig it up and add some more compost and make the soil healthy again. And I'm not sure what I'll plant here yet. Same here. This space is opened up. This is where I had my cilantro. I was having it go to seed. It was doing really well. And then the humidity hit and the, all the plants were just attacked by aphids. It was awful. I tried hosing them off, doing things to it, and nothing worked. And out of frustration I just pulled the cilantro so I never got my coriander seeds. So I'm thinking, well I'm going to kind of amend the soil and I might plant some beets in this area. Here's a really tiny baby bell pepper plant with a pepper growing. This plant almost died, but it's kind of coming back and it has a pepper. It's kind of cute. And then this pepper plant's doing really well. Looks like I have about five peppers growing on it. 
And there's another small plant here with no peppers, no blooms. Okay, here are the miniature gourds. They're finally taking off. This one plant seems to be doing pretty well. A lot of flowers, and it looks like I have one baby gourd happening. So I planted a total of five gourd plants, and this is the only one that really survived. Here's a tiny one over here. It stayed tiny. Right away it developed one gourd, and the plant's just really sick looking. So I'll just leave it here and just see what happens with the one gourd. Here's a comparison between these two, both planted at the same time. Kind of funny. Okay. Sorry about any noise in the background. They're digging the streets up. Lots of noise the last two weeks. So here are the beefsteak tomatoes, and they're doing really good. I'm getting ripe ones every day. The plant in the back didn't really produce that much. Just kind of hanging out, not doing anything. But this one's doing really well. The plant was kind of sick, a lot of leaf curl, but the tomatoes are good. Some of them are cracking, like this one. I should just pull it. I think that's because of, I don't know, too much water or not enough water or the heat, I'm not sure. And the pear tomatoes are thriving. I'm getting huge bowls of them every day. Lots of tomatoes. The plant's getting really straggly looking. But lots of tomatoes. I'm really happy with this plant. huge. And then this plant, this space opened up. This is where the sunflowers were. I might have to work some on this dirt also. And I'm thinking I might plant over here some, oh, some leeks, maybe some rutabagas, or some kale. I'm not sure still planting in my fall garden. It's just been so hot, I can't really work out in it. Okay, here's just a few of the tomatoes that I picked. They all have cracks on them, but they're still really tasty, so I'm happy. So I hope everyone else's garden is doing really well. And thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.